at the time. I was in Long Beach, California at 3rd and Redondo. So we do have a chart here, and you are the car in the center where it's I'm the car in the labeled center. P for plaintiff. And you were stopped behind another vehicle. Yes, it was a red light. My foot was on the brake. Next thing you know, I got red ended. Is that how you remember it? Yes, ma'am. So what happened, Sernave, after contact was made? After contact was made, I was just really just sitting in my car like, wow, you know, I had to go to work that night. So I worked for Union Pacific Railroad. I just started the job. I'm on probation, waiting to join the union. Mm -hmm. My first day was September 6th, which is, like, really special to me because that's my dad's birthday. My dad passed away of terminal liver cancer. At 28, he really wasn't in my life, and I even wrote about it in the Freedom Writers Diary. I'm one of the Freedom Writers from Long Beach Wilson. I just wrote how I care for my dad, and I just know that was a sign from God for me to get that job on my dad's birthday. So what happened when you got rear-ended? Did you get out of your vehicle? No, I stayed there for a minute because okay. I was just, like, in shock. Like, did I just get rear-ended? When he hit me, it jerked me, like, and I jerked real quick. And I'm just like, wow. And I look in my rearview mirror, and then I see Elijah. He's like, see him go down like this, and then he put his head back up. Then he walked over to my window, and he was just like, apologizing. He's like, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to hit you. My phone vibrated. I looked down to read the message, and next thing you know, I hit the back of your car. Elijah, is that how you remembered it happening? Yes, ma'am. So tell us what happened. You got out of the vehicle? Yes, ma'am. I did get out of the vehicle, okay. and I did go to William and ask if he was OK and I did apologize, I was very apologetic. What happened was, we were at a red light, I had my foot on the brake, I was wearing dress shoes that I wasn't really too comfortable wearing, and I got a little ding, and I look up and I hit his car. You got out of the vehicle, you were apologetic, and you told Mr. Nave that you were 16. Was that a lie? That was a lie. Why were you lying? No excuse, really. I did tell him, I said, I'm very sorry, apologize, I did not mean to hit you. He immediately asked, he said, do you have insurance? I told him no. He asked me if I have my license. I told him no. Why were you driving, Elijah? I'm in the process of getting my license and working on getting my license. My mom is currently in the process of buying that car from a friend. So I was just going to get gas around the corner, put some gas in it, and I was coming back down, down Redondo, and then the incident happened. So why were you driving the vehicle? Yeah. My question at the same time, he was very nervous once it happened. I think he tried to call his mom. She didn't answer the phone. He called me. I was right around the corner, and he asked me to show up. When I got there, they were both out of the car. I began talking to William, and, and you know, one thing that he was saying is that he didn't call anybody because he, I was on my way. I felt bad. That's why I didn't call nobody, because yeah. he looked like he wanted to cry. Yeah, and I, and I know, wasn't aware. Wait, wait, wait. 16, he's Hold like, on, please don't call the police. Right, right. You, you felt bad for him. He yeah, was a kid. You know, was a and kid. he was scared. Yeah. And you were okay with calling his father. Yeah, I said, you can go ahead and call I, I, your dad. I wasn't aware that Elijah had told him he was 16 right. at all. I mean, right. never did that ever come up. I didn't realize it. And I told him how grateful we are. And I said that I would help my son take care of whatever needed to be taken care of. I said, listen, you know, take, if you have a person, take take your car to your, to your person. You know, let me know how that goes. And Elijah, how old were you at the time of the accident? 18 years old, ma'am. Are you denying any uh, liability here? I 100% take responsibility for the accident and the minimal damage that there was. I was going about five miles per hour or less. Not, nothing too crazy. I just... All right, let me show pictures of the damage here to the vehicle. I saw some old damage on the bumper, like some old... Like it, it looked older, weathered, and then there were, the license plate were absolutely creased. So, Mr. Nave, is this accurate depiction of what your car yes. looked like? Yes, uh, that's the bumper. Because I do see some... Some stuff were, were on older. there, but I haven't been hit from behind before, so... You're not claiming that this issue... No, here... it was more on the middle this of here? my car. That crease... I if see the you, crease in the plate. If you line up his front bumper and my license plate, they Right, match. I don't think there's any denial on the uh -huh. part of the defendants about mm -hmm. damage to your plate. Yeah. Can I just say one more thing? I just wanted to clarify that. I, you know, as I told William that I was going to help in this, I even told him that day that, you know, this is not something I can take care of tomorrow. I'm going to need a couple weeks. I think I told you nine days. Yeah, you to told my me paper. the ninth, but then and you then never call. You got a quote for $1,900. It was a thousand something just to get it started and the parts ordered. But he told me, he said, it's no problem. I'll take care of it because I'm a longshoreman. No, I never said that. Yes, sir. you did say no, you never. was a longshoreman. Wait, hold on. I work hold for you. Never said that. I never hold said that. Okay, don't. I never so said how that. And now, my cousin how... is okay. a longshoreman. I told him I was a longshoreman, but okay. I never said I'll take care of it because I'm a longshoreman. That's okay. absolutely not so, that I say that. 